Hey, you guys. How y'all doing? It's your girl, Queen. Female A Red, educated Ziva, House of Queens, baby. And we are back with. Oh my goodness, you guys. Wow. This year came by so fast. We are in the, at the end of the month. Today is officially about to be over. Yeah. Which I'm going to be doing tonight. Y'all going to the club, casino, whatever. Y'all make sure New Year's resolution. Which I'm going to say. You want more money. You want to be successful. You want to lose some weight. You want to be in a happy, healthy relationship. You want to get a better job. Appointment, a house, a car. All the same shit you've been saying for the last few years. All the same that you've been saying for the last few years. But anyway, you guys. I'm going to miss y'all. 2021. Yeah. I just want to point this out to you guys. Y'all see how they going from left to right. Going from 20. 20 well, they say 2020 is 2021. But I like the background. That's why I'm showing it with y'all. In 2021. But y'all see this right here. This specific. He's going from right to left. Some backwards ass shit. Backwards ass shit. That's me, you guys. That's me. I want to leave everything... Bad, negative, all that. 2021. And start fresh. We all want to be better, do better, grow. And you always have the negative and demonic spirit people, low vibrationals, always want to pull you down with them. They don't want to see you progress, so they want you to stay stuck and stiff with them. And it's going to be hard, you guys. You guys are going to try to... Strive to be better, do better, want more for yourself in your life. And you're going to be tested. So I just want to tell you guys, keep up whatever you're doing that's good. And you're trying to grow. And the people that's trying to keep holding you down, holding you back. Try your hardest to block that out. Because you know you and you know what you're trying to do and trying to go. So you don't want to give them your, ne your energy because all they want is your energy. But I'm just bringing in good vibes for 2022 to my channel. House of Queens TV, my kings and my queens. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That one. And I love you guys. And I hope all you guys the best for 2022. You dig? So what we going to do today? We gonna be doing a little celebrity shit as usual, and some um politician, and some you know social media bullshit. We talking about something to everybody. We gonna have um what we got? Lil Nas X. We gonna have Travis Scott. We have Courtney and Kim. We gonna have some Britney Spears, R. Kelly. We gonna talk about Portia Williams, some Kelly Price. That bless it, bless it. That bless it chance, baby. We got some Cardi B, and we gonna have a little dirt. Like I said, we got some of everybody up in this bitch. But, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the channel. Random likes like this button. Random likes out. If y'all ain't never ever random likes up, come on now. We're going in 2022. Show your queens some love. Y'all my kings and y'all queens. Show your queens some love. And leave a comment if you like. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. I'm almost at a thousand subscribes. Baby, baby. Your girl's almost at a thousand subscribers, baby. And I appreciate everyone who subscribes to my channel. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I could not do it without, if it was not for you guys. So we are family over here. You guys are my queens and my kings. And Queen Thing Way Red. She love ya. She love ya. She love ya. So let's get into what we're going to get into. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to get into 
the most viral, shocking, jaw-dropping, gags, surprises, all-in-one package moments from 2021. I know a lot of channels been doing it, but they do it their own way. So I'm going to do it in my way. So, buck your seatbelts and enjoy this ride. So, y'all see one right there? That's our first lady. That's our first lady. Beautiful black queen. What should I say? A beautiful black South Asian American first vice president, Miss Kamala Harris. So, I want to start mine off for 2021 going to 2022 with our first black South Asian vice president. What's more than to do that? We never thought that we are going to have a female president, let alone a black president or vice president. You dig? If she can do it, any race female out there, or we're going to say all um, males, because we had all, you know, we had Obama, but we're going to celebrate this woman right now. If she can do it, y'all can do it too. So all the little girls out there, no matter your race, when your teacher say you in um, elementary, what do you want to be when you grow up and you say, I want to be a president? And they give you a little stank face or whatever, and they say, why you choose that? Because House of Queens TV said it. Kamala Harris was a um, pres um, vice president. She did it. So why can't I not be a president? Why is this so hard to believe? You dig? So next we have Portia Williams and her fiance Simon Gubadia. Now you know that's some scandal ass shit for twenty twenty one. Portia is a beautiful woman. I'm never gonna say that she's not nothing else besides beautiful. But she is also ratchet. Y'all don't know people them nice nasty girls. <laughs> you can't take away how they grew up or whatever, like, you know, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. She's very, very beautiful. She got that little sassy ass mouth or whatever, but she still can be, you could take her around fucking educated, high class people and she know how to, she know how to sit in that area. She can fit in. She can blend in. Some motherfuckers, you can't do that to So, <laughs> we got Porsche up in the office. So, Portia Williams, she yanked us by her edges, honey. She yanked us by our edges, and she's showing all her little ball spot patches. She announced this year that she was engaged to her fellow Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star ex-husband, Simon Gabadio. Ain't that some shady shit? Girl, you been on TV since you was introduced to us. You was trying to pull like a Kenya Moore. Kenya, I love you, baby. I do. I love you, girl. But you trying to pull a Kenya on us. Since you been on TV, child, you been introducing us to this man, that man, that man. Ooh, that man. Girl, it's like you going to the fucking store and trying to pick out a good accessory. You went to the store and like, oh, I want that purse, that purse, that purse. Since you've been on us, since you was introduced to us on TV, that's all you've been wanting to do, girl. Introduce us to your new man. Girl, you better stop putting mouths on that cuckoo. So next in our office, we have um Kelly Price. I love her voice, and she is also a beautiful woman. But we was kind of concerned about Miss uh, Miss Kelly Price this year. Kelly Price was missing. She was up there in um the Himalayas 
with that fine ass husband of horse, her little youngster. She out here playing cougar to the children. But you know, it was like a whole little scandal about Miss 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 Price. She was um, recovering from you know y'all see y'all see what it said. She was recovering. She lost her mind. She came on these little shows and giving statements, and people were like, "We don't know what's wrong with her." They, they said that allegedly. They said she was that part of a part of a boy. Allegedly, that what Tasha K said. <laughs> But that's her business. So that was another scandal from 2021. Now, I know y'all remember this one. I know darn well y'all remember this one. Little Nas X. Little Nas X. Little, little, little Nas X. Little, little, little Nas X. She's up here grinding and sliding and trying to seduce the devil. I know you lying. I know you lying. Little Nas X up here, y'all. She's up here trying to seduce the devil. Slide down pose and trying to lap dance. Baby, how much you get? Did, did, did you tap in? You cast in? Or you went bang bang? But let me get off little Nas X because you know he's like a troll. You troll me, baby. You see how you dancing with Satan? I'm going to troll you back and he's going to put Satan. He's going to hold his head down and say, why did House of Queen TV do you like that? Since we're talking about sliding in and, and lap dancing and running, let's talk about Shikari Richardson. Y'all see her? The one with the hair that's on fire. The very... This girl, I mean, she got mouths on her. She... When she came to us, she did her thing. We were so proud of her as a black young woman. She was breaking barriers. That's another one, breaking barriers, that a young woman or a young male can say, hey, if she did it, I could do it too. I want to be like her. I want to be like him. A role model, a positive role model. But, you know, just like just like any other scandal of a celebrity, once you show your goodness, you're going to be followed by a scandal. Not all like that, but most of them have. So, in the peak highest of her career followed by a scandal. She was going through some life tribulations. So she wanted to, you know, because I got because I got her. I would have went to school but I got her. Yay. I was going to do my hair but I got her. That's what she did. She was going to go run track. She was going to go run that 100 meter. But she got high. She was hitting them Bob Marley. So, this young lady threw her career away. Well, it's not absolutely thrown away. She she had so many endorsement deals. She did commercial, Kanye West, um, track to the beats. Them all, you know, called AirPods to the beats. She got so many endorsement deals. And all that went down the drain because of the actions that she wanted to partake in. And my personal opinion, I, I think she was scared. I would think she was scared. She probably knew that she couldn't go against them African Bombada B. Them African Bombada B. She knew them Jamaicans was going to mark her. She knew them Jamaicans was going to mark her. So she got scared. She got, she got scared, y'all. She got scared. And she knew that's the only way that she was going to get disqualified. Why would she work so hard to get what she going to get just to show up, show out, and drop out? She 
she knew that they was going to murk her. That's another moment from 2021. Y'all, we got, we got K. Michelle. K. Michelle. Ladies and gentlemen. L- 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 ladies and gentlemen, K. Michelle finally wants to be Kimberly. Kimberly Jones. Because we don't know who the hell this is. Who is this? Hoppo, who this woman? Hoppo, who, who, who this woman? Sit down here looking like, trying to look like an Instagram model. K. Michelle always was pretty. With that country ass accent and that big old booty with them thighs and hips. It's a little short little thing. A little sex ass little thing. But she wanna be Caucasian. She don't wanna be K Michelle no more. She wants to be Kimberly. So say hi Kimberly. She wants to be an Instagram model. She don't want to be K Michelle no more. She wants to be Kimberly. So say hey y'all. Say hi Kimberly. How you doing, Kimberly? And since we talk about our Caucasian sister, K. Michelle, let's hop on over to Britney Spears. Britney Spears, I don't know how old she is. I'm not sure. But you know she's from Louisiana, right? Yeah, she's from my neck of the woods. You dig? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Britney Spears. We had to congratulate her. She done been through so much in her life, you guys. She was in a conservatorship for 14 years against her own daddy. If you can't trust your family, you can't trust no motherfucking body. You heard me? If you can't trust your family, you can't trust nobody. And that's, and that's really pitiful. It's really embarrassing. It's a shame. But, yeah, she want to thank her fans. She want to praise, want praise the Lord. Good God, good God, I love my fans so much. It's crazy. I think I'm gonna cry the rest of the day. Best day ever. Praise the Lord. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Cause she is free from her surgeonship. So let's congratulate Britney Spears on her freedom so she can do what the, she want to do. Because my thing is this. You think I'm not um, able to handle my own money and other things, but I'm good enough to make you money. You think that I can't handle my money, but I'm good enough to make you money? Bitch, you got me messed up. You got me messed all the way up. I'm not good enough to handle my own money and other legal shit out here. But I'm good enough to work for you. I'm good enough to make money for you. It's like a pimp in a hoe situation. Go get my money. Okay. That's what it was. That's what... To me, that's what it seemed like. I could be wrong. <laughs> but I'm not. But, yeah, that was a big moment for 2021. Look at this wide-eye, long-faced, plastic dummy. If you think for any... If you think in a second that you went to the Home Depot. You went to Home Depot and picked up some Gorilla Glue. But better yet, you went down to 99 cents though. Dollar Tree. General, uh, General Dollar Room. And got some Gorilla Glue. Because your hair was already laid. But you didn't want that mother, you didn't want that motherfucker like the little hairs to be sticking out. And you say you're gonna put some gorilla glue in your head. But it 
will wash her. I wash my hair fifteen times. I wash my hair fifteen times. And she up here crying. Rah, rah. But she did it. She went viral. She got a blue check mark now. She 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 trying to do her little thing, you know. She got that certified mark. You know? A lot of people wish they could be in her um her um shoes. But not that get rid of glue shoe. <laughs> so Jessica she went viral for twenty twenty one for putting Gorilla Glue on her hair, went to L.A., had um, the doctor get it on her head, the same thing that people was telling her to do, and she was pretending that she was doing it. People was making videos on and showing us examples on what they was doing, the same thing that she said that she did, but it worked for them and it didn't work for her. But everybody's hair is not the same. Everybody's hair texture is not the same. But what she said that she did to her hair, if it worked for them, I'm quite sure it will work for you. And the same thing that they were saying on their videos, the doctor did the same damn thing. He just named it different, because it's going to cost more. The girl even had a GoFundMe. Thousands, thousands of dollars. And then, a year later, Gorilla Girl, girl Tessica Brown came back and said that she tried to dye her hair. And it was falling out in chunks. And you know damn well that hair that she put up on the side of that camera was not that hair that she had out her head. Because that hair looked like some of that crochet yakky hair. And it had its own head. Head was wet. So how you going to pick up some dry ass crochet curly kinky hair and the hair on your head is wet. Stop playing our face, Terrica. Stop playing in our face, Terrica. And since we on this subject, then the girl gonna make a damn song. It got views. Yes, it did. It got views. But she got mad at our queen, Nicki Minaj, because Nicki Minaj did not want to jump on her track. Girl, why would Nicki Minaj want to jump on your bald head there track? Yeah, because she shouted you out in her song. Don't mean. She was going to jump on your shit. Girl, get the fuck out of here with your goofy ass. I did want to do this, but this was a big old moment for 2021. The Travis Scott Ascaro tragedy. Plenty of people have lost their lives. Ten people have died, including a, a boy at the age of nine years old. And hundreds were injured during the deadly um, crowd cr um, crush. At the actual world. I want to say 50,000 festival goers led to death. That shit was crazy, you guys. It really was. You know, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring too much. I didn't want to bring that type of energy to this live tonight. No, I didn't. It is what it is. I'm not going to be on her too much longer, you guys. Because I really wasn't feeling this anyways. I just want to bring you guys some type of um content. Because <clears throat> I think I was gone for two days, you know. My baby daddy here in his seat. I got to take care of my baby daddy. So I got to do my mama and wife duties to my husband. Because he in his shit. <laughs> so, shit. I just want to jump in and jump out and share something with y'all. Like, go back on the reminisce on the damn 2021 content. So, you know, that was a big thing for 2021 with the um, Astro tragedy. Oh, this one right here. When uh, Meghan Markle and Henry sat down with Oprah. And she was going through her um, mental health stage. And mental health is real. And, you know... You got this mixed girl that she didn't... People didn't really know she was black. Y'all remember when um, Paris Hilton had told that to um, that rich girl? Damn, what's that damn rich girl name? I can't think of that girl name. But it's Lana Richie's daughter. And she was saying, when they did the little MTV little thing, she was like... And she invited her to her house. Nicole Richie. And she was like, oh... I didn't know she was black. Girl. 
y'all been hanging around all these years. <laughs> y'all been hanging around each other all these years. And I guess you never been to her house, or if you did, you never was around her daddy or whatever, or wherever, whatever room you was in. It had no pictures or nothing. Or maybe you thought there was a maid or something. But how you not know this girl is black? But anyway, what she was getting to her depression and all this other kind of things is that they was treating her like trash over there. They was like, I, I believe it was a racial thing. It was very racial motivated. Because they don't really have too much standards over there. Because y'all remember um, the wedding, right? All of his ex-girlfriends were there. And even the other brother, when he got married to Kate. All his other girlfriends that he dated was there. I wish a bitch would. I wish a bitch would play like me with that. Not only we finna stop this wedding, we gonna put it on pause. But my bridesmaids, if I don't jump first, y'all better jump before I would. Cause we finna elect a slide. We finna elect a slide. Slide to the left, and we gonna slide to the right. Cause we gonna mop you up and down these altars. If you think you finna politely sit your in a pew pit and think you finna attend my wedding? What you had in the past is not for you in the future. What you had in the past is not for you in the future. But you're not finna sit here on my wedding day. Even if you don't interrupt. Even if you don't interrupt. I'm finna um Politely, and squish your ass up out of here. You might want to leave peacefully and quietly. Don't make no scene. Don't make no scene. But anyways, while well, I'm jumping off the topic, she was into depression and her mental health stage because the people over there were my mom said. Okay, let me see. Okay, she had revealed that somebody over there in the, um in the royal family had made a, had made a statement saying that they wonder what the rate how the baby's gonna look gonna turn out his skin tone because again they knew she was black but you know black black people genes are strong very strong. So, they was wondering how dark would that baby look when it's born. Because there's a lot of people, if you don't know who Meghan Markle is, they probably wouldn't know she was black. She she doesn't look like a black woman. So, they was really worried. (laughs) They was, boy, they was sitting on pins and they was worried about how dark skin this child was going to look. And that was messing with her because that's her firstborn child. She don't need to be going through that on her first pregnancy. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. She needs all the support and love that she can get from her, her, her in-laws and her baby daddy. But they treated her like a hoe on the street. Speaking of a hoe on the street, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Brr. Kim Kardashian decided that she don't want black black men no more. She said no, no, no. I said no, no, no. They trying to make me go back to black men. I say no, no, no. She got four children with Kanye West. They filed for divorce. Because she decided that she don't want to be with black men no more. She done sit up here and destroy all these black men's lives. The Kardashians and the Jenners done destroy all these black men's lives. But they put their stuff through that though. You can't blame the Kardashians and Jenners. You got to blame the black men. Because look, look how Tristan treating Chloe. That's one black man they was not going to destroy. Because you know why? He got that Jamaican-Haitian descent. 
He said all them voodoo's and, and rituals, allegedly, that you trying to throw at me. Girl, I'm from the world it originated from. Y'all playing with it. We invented it. Allegedly. <laughs> Baby. So, shoot. You see how they just try to destroy these black men? You see what they did to Lamar? Hell. You know damn well, Rob is still mad at Chloe. Because you know, Chloe and Rob had Lamar over there playing goddamn Xbox and eating popcorn and, and wing wings and doom dooms. That was, Lamar was Rob's best friend. And after he left, you see the motherfucker that can't come out the house no more. All he do is stay in the house in the goddamn garage and eat himself almost to, you know, he can't go nowhere. He depressed because Chloe ran away his best boyfriend. Just think about it. All of the men that they done destroyed, allegedly, Trisha ain't taking it. He ain't taking it sitting down. He was sent to destroy that foundation. <laughs> yes, he was. He was sent to destroy that. He was sent by the voodoo gods to destroy that foundation. Shit. Shit, get, get, get. So on to the next one. We have Kourtney Kardashian. The sister. The oldest one. She done had all them damn kids with Scott. Scott wanted to make her a wife, not a freaking baby mama. When you got a man that want to make you a wife instead of a baby mama, you he ain't too damn crazy or too of a drunk. You kept having babies for that man. You talking about some unfo? Huh? My husband talking my husband talking about some un. Talking about some un, some un what? Like I said, he ain't too much crazy or too much of a drunk. You kept having babies for this man. So after you figure out all this about your baby daddy, you jumped onto another piece of meat. And say, uh, I'll marry you. Um, I'll marry you. But you didn't want to marry your baby daddy, girl. He wanted to marry you. He wanted to make you a wife, not a freaking baby mama. He wanted to marry you before you even had y'all first child. What kind of twisted ass, backwards ass shit is this? Ch -ch 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 but that is not my business. That is not my business. I'm just wondering if they're going to invite Scott to the wedding. I'll keep y'all in soon. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I got one more. I'm going to be out. So, another thing was this girl was our queen. <laughs> you don't have to bless her in here somewhere. Nicki Minaj, she roasted Housewives of Potomac. She was our first. Yeah. Boogie. I am not bothering you. Stop playing. Stop playing. Don't play. Yeah, let me make this quick. Because like I told you guys, my husband is over here sick and all this stuff. And so, I guess, um, I'm irking his nerves. You know how you sick and stuff like that. But anyway, Nicki Minaj was the first person to ever, um, host a, a reunion show. And then a celebrity just hosting a reunion. So that was a big thing for her and for all of us as Barb's. Congratulating our girl becoming the first person to host a reunion. She liked to watch the reunion show, especially Potomac. She, she loved the Potomac, um, Real Housewives of Potomac. She's a very, a very big fan. So why would you not like to do something that you love to do? You love the show. You engage in the show. You react to the show. So might well host the show. And so that's what that girl did. She showed up and showed the fuck out. Burt. Roman. Roman. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Run along. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't shit and get off the top. I got some niggas that was I had a mama there. I had a cackling. I got scared. Shook. Pelican. So last but not least, let's talk about Tory Lanez. 
I had more, but we'll do that another time of the day. So, Tory Lane got a victory, you guys. They take it to trial. Take this shit to trial. Y'all heard that song? Take this shit to trial. Take this shit to trial. <laughs> so, yeah. Tory Lane is going to trial against Meg the Stallion. She tried to gag his ass. She tried to come up here and won't um, change the narrative of the public's opinion about him. She tried to jump ahead of him. And he wanted to say what he wanted to say, but she put the gag order on him. So he was like, okay, I'm going to be quiet because I was ordered to. Did you try to get him locked up when he um, performed with the baby? She tried to do all this stuff. She tried to throw all this negative energy at that man. You did this. You did that. Oh, I'm scared of you. And and we went in the third. And you was lying on this man the whole damn time. But he let you play yourself. And look what happened. Things starting to come out. That shit starting to unravel. She getting nervous. Meg the Stallion has been quiet. She's been quiet, you guys. She was up her pussy popping on the handstand, backpedaling. She was doing all that shit in the beginning. Yeah, Tori Lane shot me. Yeah, you shot me. I ain't gonna say no more. Yeah, you shot me. That was what she was saying. Then her and Chelsea got into it. They friends is destroyed because allegedly what happened was she was messing with Tory Lanez behind Chelsea's back. Allegedly. I was not, so I do not know. But from what other people say is that Chelsea liked the Tory Lanez and Meg knew it or she was messing with Tory Lanez and Megan also knew it and didn't give a fuck. But they say Meg is one of them females that you can't leave your boyfriend around her. Bitch, if I'm going to the bathroom, you you finna follow me too. I gotta go check my mailbox. You gonna stay outside. You finna stay outside. Stay outside until I come back. Cause I don't trust your dog. Yes. But they're gonna say, can't trust your man. It's not about trusting your friend. Can't trust your man too. I'm glad I don't have friends like that. But anyways. <laughs> Tory Lane is going to head a trial, and I hope he win his case, and we're going to wish that brother the best luck. So, I'm going to jump up off this live. Well, not my life, jump off this thing. It was just a little bit to give y'all. It was a little bit. I know it's going to be long, but it, it is what it is. I didn't have nothing to do. I just wanted to bless y'all with this 2021 Down Memory Lane. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really do. Run them likes up. Subscribe to my channel, those who are here for the first time. Welcome, y'all. Welcome. This is your girl, Quinty18 Red. We're here to Z House of Queens TV. And I got so much, so much, so much more coming, y'all. So much more coming. I'm trying to get, put some things together for y'all. Some merchandise. I got this. I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all. It was just going to come out. It was just about to oh, mm, get your mouth off that. It was just about to slip out. But anyways, you guys, I love you guys, and I hope all y'all be safe and enjoy the rest of your night. Don't be drinking and driving. Be safe out here. Watch your 12, 3, 6, and your 9. Watch your 12, 3, 6, and your 9. Love yourself and love who loves you. Love yourself and love who loves you. <laughs> bye bye so again whatever you harboring and holding for 20, in 2021 leave that shit back in 2021 even though you're going to have stumping blocks and people going to be trying to test you let them test that temperature if they want to get burned that's up to them don't you gonna check this temperature and you're gonna burn the fuck out your ass. But if you can try to ignore it 
And no, I'm not going to practice what I preach. <laughs> yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am not. Mm-hmm. Anyways, you got <laughs> I love you guys. Love yourself and love the fuck who love you. And I'm out this. V-I-N. Happy New Year's, you guys. I love you guys. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. I love you guys. I really do. I am I am so thankful that I had wanted to do something. I had a goal. I went towards it. And the only place I can go now is up. If I have some setbacks, I gotta iron that shit out. And anybody that's watching this channel, whatever you wanna do in your life. Go for it. You may not have nobody supporting you. And it's going to get hard. I mean, you're going to have challenges. Everything is not easy in this world. It's not easy. Trust me. I've been there. I'm still going through it. But I am trying to be better than what I am. Because my, you know what? My past molded me to the woman that I am today. Hear me again. My past molded me to the woman I am today. So, if y'all want to, y'all got some dreams and goals, go for it. You ain't gonna, you can't say, oh, I'm gonna fail if you ain't gonna try. You ain't gonna know if you're gonna fail if you, don't, if you ain't gonna put the foot forward and say, let me just jump off, let me do it. Hey. Go for what you want to go for in life. You're not going to get any younger. But things will get better. Take it from your girl, Quincy Wayne Ray, which is Diva, House of Queens TV. I love you guys. Love yourself and love who love you. Again, love yourself and love who love you. Bye. You guys.